I graduate June 2023. Very excited. Um, thanks to all the teachers, all the life coaches, and everybody that helped me out. I appreciate it. I'm excited to graduate next month in June. Um, everyone here has been very helpful. Um, I love everybody. I love the energy here. And I love everyone. <laughs> I am expected to graduate next month, June 2023. And I had such a great experience at the Excel Center with the help of the life coaches, specifically Miss Gloria. I'm expecting to graduate next month. Y'all helped me through Miss Mary, Miss Gloria. Miss Mary got me through the ups and downs. I would like to begin by thanking Miss Mary. Um, she was the first woman I spoke to about this program and she encouraged and motivated me the entire step of the way. I'm just thrilled at all the relationships and memories that we've made here and this has truly been an experience. I would say my experience here at the Goodwill Excel Center, I've had a good time. I mean, there's been ups and downs, of course, but I just want to thank the life coaches, more specifically Miss Gloria and Mr. Doug. Mr. Doug's not here anymore, but Really appreciate everyone who have helped me along the way. It's been <laughs> a long time coming, but I'm really glad. First off, I'd like to thank Miss Gloria. She's been the best life coach I could ever had. She's really helped me through a lot here. My experience here has been great. I think I will really cherish the memories I've made here and the friends I've made along the way of this journey. I never thought I could get a second chance. Uh, so I'm really grateful for this program helping me get my high school diploma moving on in life. I came to the Excel Center in October of 2022. Um, it was a very hard journey, but I made it through. Um, I'm a senior, I will be graduating soon. I pretty much enjoy my teachers and the staff here at Goodwill because they believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. They have a slogan, uh, hand up, instead of a hand out, and they literally give you a hand up so you can have a brighter future, so you can be successful. That's why I am still coming and involving myself with anything that the Goodwill has because I am one of those people that literally want to help people. I want to become a career coach soon, so hopefully I will be in this building or another building helping other people like myself be successful in life. All of you have meant something very special to me. This isn't my first graduation. Um, this will be my fifth graduation, um, but my first here in Kentucky. And I just wanted to say a little bit about something about each one of you, beginning with Demontre. You came in here quiet and shy, didn't know what you wanted to do, but you were very determined going forward to in uh, graphic design. I just want to tell you how proud I am because I remember you walking in the first day and you had your hoodie on and your head down and came into my office real quiet and didn't know if you could do this. Now look where you're at. You're going to get your diploma in a couple weeks and I'm so proud of you. Stephanie, oh my gosh, you are going to be successful in anything you do. Just the way you are in class and how you don't accept anything less than an A. And you go back and talk to the teachers and ask what you can do to get that A. Um, the certifications that you've earned so far. Um, so proud of you. Love how you are with your family. Um, you've met and overcome a lot of barriers and you did not let that stop you from coming to school. I just want you to remember that when you go into college and you may face another barrier. My number is always going to be in your phone, so you just give me a call and I'll be there to support you in any way I can. Kylie, real quiet. I only had a couple credits to achieve, which you did remarkably with all the barriers you faced. Um, so proud of you. Can't wait to see what you're going to do in the future. Juan, my one and only Juan, <laughs> you have taken a journey um, that has become with, with several barriers, but you did not let, you, let that stop you. So proud of you being always having straight A's, always having um, perfect attendance. Um, I just want you to know that I will always be there for you. Shaquita, 
when you first came into school, you were very quiet. You're hardworking, very respectful. You are going to go far. Mandip, sometimes I had to call and remind you you had school today, <laughs> but I knew that you were working hard because you had a late job but I knew that you would be here and no matter what task I gave you, I knew you would accomplish it, complete it, and do the best you can. So proud of you. Unica, I miss you so much. I remember the first day you came in here and said that you wanted to become uh, a daycare, um, take care of daycare until you took a couple tests here and we saw how remarkable you were with numbers. And once we sat down and spoke to you and showed you what you could accomplish and be an accountant, um, you changed your mind and, and that is the career you chose. So proud of you, I miss you and Miles. Caitlin, you're very kind. Um, you're kind hearted to everyone. You're concerned about everyone else, but you also make sure that you get your work done. And I know you'll go far. And Kiera, your son is my L. Brings me smiles. I miss him hor horribly. Um, and I know you'll go far. Um, your perfect attendance, your um, straight A's. I look forward to what you're going to do in the future. Please don't forget me. Tamika. I just want to say how proud I am of you. I remember the first day you came in, you were very shy and quiet. You had some barriers to overcome, which you did. You never let those barriers get in your way, especially when you came in one day and didn't know if you were going to have a place to stay. But you did what you had to do to get that accomplished and you advocated for yourself, I just want to let you know that you're going to go far and I'm going to miss you dearly. And I just want to tell you all, I'm so proud of you all and I will always check up on you. Congratulations. My experience at the Excel Center is great. <laughs> I learned a lot more than what I knew before I came here. Um, when I wanted to give up, the, I had all the career coaches just, you know, giving me that focus saying, keep on coming, you got this, and that was a big part that made me come every day. I want to thank everybody because they really gave me that push. I'm going to tell you, like, some of the days when you think you couldn't make it in here because you had to work or you didn't have no one to watch your kids or somebody got sick. And then I still fought through that to take and come in here. And it was a struggle at first when I when I started, but I got it together and started coming every day. And I ended up like, you know, getting all A on a row. And I worked through them challenges that I was facing. So with the Excel Center, I'm gonna start in the fall, trying to get into the nursing program. And I did pharmacy tech and got some more other certifications. So the program really helped me a lot. To my class of 2023, you did it. You're done. I'm so proud of you. I'm gonna leave you with a little saying that says, the long you entertain what's not for you, the long you postpone what is. Hope you know I'm proud of you. They don't know what you go through. They don't know what you've been through. Through it all, you made it. Congratulations, class of 2023. Your favorite life coach, Miss Tish. It gives you your diploma for free. It's a good program, especially for parents because they have a daycare here. I plan to be a nurse after I graduate high school, so I plan to go to college for that. Mm, it's been a good experience overall. I would say my overall experience here is um, all the teachers, all the new people I met, um, being able to finally get my high school diploma, Getting through all this algebra, that's my worst subject. <laughs> um, and I'm just ready to graduate and get it over with. I've been here since day one. Everyone that's an adult who hasn't been able to get their diplomas or GEDs, I would recommend the Excel Center because they have multiple resources for you, whether it's home, child care, um, availability for you, they are willing to work with you. I would say my goal here is to graduate, and which is, I will be graduating here soon. I want to say, 
I wish everyone well and good luck. I came to the Excel Center, Center to, you know, to better myself and to show my 15 year old son that he can do whatever he can do, you know, whatever comes to his mind. I'm here at the Excel Center today. Um, for all of them that hasn't graduated or dropped out from high school, I would like to tell them to come to Excel Center and try them, come here, learn, and get your GED and diplomas so you guys can have a better future in life. And I'm happy that I'm graduating in June 26th. Um, I started here when the school first opened up and it's a good program for people that did not get their high school diploma and or got their GED and would like to get you know a high school diploma and further their education better and for jobs or um, going to college getting certifications I'm in billing and coding and I am going to further into that and then I am going to pursue into college for other stuff or for the same thing. Today is my first day and Mary Simmons told me to come give you some inspiring words as you embark on your new uh, milestone in life. First of all, I commend you for the courage, the bravery, bravery, tenacity of coming back and getting your high school diploma. That alone deserves an applause. Now that you have graduated, the sky is not the limit, but is a, just a benchmark for what you can achieve. So achieve high when you're fearful, press through, and come back and share your success with every other student at Goodwill. Congratulations, you guys. Coming to the Excel Center, I had to finish something that I didn't get to finish. And that was my high school because of a past that doesn't involve me no more to become a better person and to accomplish the goals I want. And to that, I thank all the teachers here, Miss Lori, she was a big help. Um, Miss Gloria with her smile and Miss Mary for her effort and all the teachers that helped me overcome this barrier that I had for a while. And overall my experience here was great because of the friendships I made, new connections, and the resources that they had. Hey guys, it's me, your dear old Uncle Charles. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I didn't want to take much of your time, but I wanted, wanted to let you know that this moment is definitely for you. So I just want to leave you with one thing and one joke. I want to ask you, why did the chicken cross the street? To get their diploma. See ya. <laughs> Hello, dear graduates of 2023. I know this has been a tough road. It has been a road that um, you have um, put your best foot forward and uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I don't know any of you, but I am proud that you brought yourself here and you are the best you can be. And I just want to say congratulations to you and have an amazing, amazing graduation. My time at the XL Center, it was rough because I was going through like a lot when I first enrolled in school or whatever. Uh, I felt like giving up at one point because all that I was going through, I was going through a house fire. In the midst of me going through a house fire, I lost my mother as well too. So it was like the roughest time in the point of my life. But thanks to one of my teachers, uh, Miss Lori, and also Miss Murray, they pushed me every day to come. Oh, and also Doug as well. <clears throat> but they pushed me every morning to get up, come to school, motivated me. Uh, I missed, probably missed a few days, but their motivation kept me going. And like I said, that pain, I turned it into something else. You know, I had to strive for something. You know, I was I not strive for something, but I, want, I know what I wanted out of this. So I had to strive harder and harder each day. I had to fight with myself constantly when I wanted to give up. First, I want to shout out Miss Kathy, my favorite teacher from my whole since I've been in school. She made me understand math. Shout out to Miss Kathy, do a good job with everybody. And I love this school. They make sure I did not drop out. When I first got here, I came in here with a frown. And then when I finished, I came out excited. And everybody realized how happy I was. When I, Cause first time I'm like, ah, oh, I ain't gonna be able to finish school. And I went back to school six times. And now when I got here, 
I finished quickly less than six months. So I was excited about that. Yeah. So if you want to go graduate, you better come to Goodwill because they'll get you there and make you comfortable. We all family here. I love them. Honestly, I'm just looking for a work from home job where it's convenient for me and my family. Yeah. That's like my go-to right now. So I don't really have like a career path or anything like that that I'm looking into. I'm just kind of just going with the flow because I'm one of those people that are good at like everything they try. I have recommended to a lot of family members, but they don't have the courage to come yet. But eventually they will. Lori, she was great. Um, Mary, amazing. Gloria, amazing. All the teachers are amazing. I met a lot of friends here that I keep in contact with outside of school. So that's really awesome. And the daycare is phenomenal. It's so convenient. Congratulations, everyone. Hello, Goodwill Excel Center seniors. Yesterday was an exciting day. and We were all just so, so, so excited for you. We're looking forward to seeing you at the graduation and just giving you your diploma, sending you on your way. I did not think it was like a real program. Like I was like, there's no way. Like my grandma sent it to me and I was like, okay grandma, like sure, I'll sign up. Like I wasn't actually, like I honest to God had no intention of like actually following through with it. And then I came here and Ms. Gloria was so sweet and everyone was so nice and like everything was like legit. And I didn't think like, I was like free. And I was expecting like somebody to ask me for some money at some point and nothing ever happened. So it was a really good program. My grandma, like I definitely want her to see me graduate. That's really important. And it's been like, I mean, it's gonna be important to me because I get out of that industry and I'm gonna like the serving and bartending. Like, and I'll be able to do more and further my education. And I'm, I struggled really hard with getting my GED because like, I don't know, I just struggled with like the math and like, it's just because it's based all on one test. And I love how this is like, you know, you get to go periodically. The reason why I started the acceptance is because I, I seen the, like a sign and I was like, hey, let me go look and see what this is about. So I went online and it was like, enroll now. So I enrolled and I got, a, email from one of the life coaches and I was like, I'm gonna do this. So like ever since then I've been here since October. Family done. I've accomplished so much. Excel Center has been a wonderful experience. Like it's been great. I haven't had any hiccup. I mean it's life, but other than that, it's been a wonderful experience. I didn't had a good well perfect attendance. Majority every time. But I, I actually enjoyed the Excel Center. Um, my friend Autumn went here and she kind of like told me about it and at first I was kind of hesitant because I didn't think that going back would really be something I'd do, but I definitely like went and looked at the link and looked at the information about the school and I was like, you know what, why not? They got free daycare. <laughs> so might as well. Because I mean, at home I don't really have a lot of family, so I don't really have like a support system for when it comes to my kids. Just the fact that like the daycare is free and not having to stress about oh, who's gonna watch them when I get to class, like that benefited a lot. And then like, they help a lot with like food stamps and they get you in the door with housing and things like that. And those are really good things that people need in life. And I mean, it, it kind of makes me emotional sometimes cause I'm like, I'm gonna miss this school. Like it's, it's, my, it's my home. I don't know. It's gonna suck. I mean, you gotta think I was homeless and pregnant. And then when I had my daughter, I was on drugs. Like, but coming here and like being able to walk the stage and like finally do what I wanted to do my whole life. And I'm a nerd. I'm a straight nerd. I love school. So like <clears throat> coming here and getting that second chance. And I want to thank every staff member because through my blue bow moments, through the stress, you know, they got me through it. They pushed me. A lot of people, my family that I do have pushed me. My kids pushed me and I am so beyond grateful for them. Like, it's not even funny. Back in high school, I had a lot, you know, going on. Um, I had to eventually drop out, care for my siblings. Um, well, I made a promise to my grandpa that I would graduate. I would go and be a lawyer. Um, I would make sure, you know, I was successful. I was upset when I found out that I wasn't able to graduate because, you know, I dropped out. So um, I ended up hearing about the Excel Center through my past high school. Um, I didn't really have the momentum to come to the Excel Center. I didn't know how I was gonna get here every day. I didn't know how, but when you want something and you have that determination, you gotta keep that determination. 
So coming to the Excel Center to better my future and get my diploma and now be able to go to school to be a lawyer, that's, it's amazing, it's great. Um, I'm glad that I got the opportunity. I learned about the Excel Center from a friend, uh, neighbor really, and uh, they had known I went homeless uh, during my senior year of high school. So they knew I wanted to complete that so I could go on my military enlistment. And one day she kind of just called me and said, hey, uh, going to the Excel Center, you're coming with. And I had no choice and I got here, signed up and ran free and clear. Without a high school diploma, I really couldn't go many places I wanted to. I want to work for the state. I want to become a law enforcement officer and join the military as a prerequisite. And I refuse to get a waiver for my first thing, uh, unless it's something serious I can't control. This is something that has always been in my control, and I finally took the steps to do it. I'd like to thank Miss Di for always smiling when I come in. I'd like to thank Miss Mary for always taking everything I say seriously and wanting to help me out. There's a lot of administration I can't even begin to thank because. There's just so many things they do collectively. Hey, hey, everyone. Can you come closer? Can you come a little bit closer? Yeah, right there. I have something that I want to tell you. Congratulations, you did it, yay! Remember when you first came into orientation, remember when I told you that I wanted you to do a hand clap? And I asked every last one of you all, why did I ask you all to clap? Remember what you said was because you were here. Out of all of the adversities, all of the things that you had to go through, the reason why I said I wasn't talking about here as of today. I was talking about here and what that meant at this moment, at this time. You are here, a place that somewhere back there that you thought that you will be here. And so for that, I celebrate you, I congratulate you, and I can't wait to see what you do. Congratulations, goodbye. Goodwill Industries of Kentucky opened the Excel Center October 4th, 2022. And it was the first Excel Center in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And you are the first graduating class from the Excel Center. First class, first Excel Center. This is a monumental time. It's a monumental moment, but not just for goodwill, but for you. You as graduates who decided to make the choice to come back and work hard and show resilience to complete the requirements for the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the requirements of the Excel Center of Kentucky to earn your diploma. What a great day. What a great time. Congratulations. Class of 2023, June 29th, first graduating class. Congratulations.